Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay the tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone, ye blind guides, which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. Another famous saying by Christ, ye strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. A camel, the largest animal the Jews knew, as the gnat was the smallest, both were by the law unclean. Albert Barnes made note of this is basically what Christ was saying. You Jews take great pains to avoid offense in very small matters, superstitiously ob observing the smallest points of the law, like a man carefully straining out the animalcule from what he drinks, while you are at no pains to avoid great sin, hypocrisy, deceit, oppression, and lust, like a man who should swallow a camel.